Tyler, we also heard from investigators themselves this morning. The chief of the South Carolina Law Enforcement Division, known as SLED, had a staff work overtime on this investigation, and they'll continue to work on the other crimes they say are connected to Alec Murdoch. And today is not the end. It's the next step in a long road to justice for every person who has been victimized by Alex Murdoch. Alex Murdoch has now been rightfully found guilty of murdering his wife Maggie and Paul. He was found guilty because he was guilty. Well, that statement comes nearly two years after SLED reopened several investigations connected to the family because of the murder case. One of those is the 2015 death of Stephen Smith. Smith's body was found on the side of a Hampton County Road in what was described at the time as a hit and run. According to the report from South Carolina Highway Patrol, the Murdoch name was mentioned multiple times while they were investigating his death. Like we just mentioned, SLED says they reopened that investigation on June 22nd of 2021 due to evidence they found during the Murdoch murder investigation. New at 5, our Haley Bolin is in Hampton County with more on how the Smith family is reacting to the Murdoch's conviction. Stephen Smith's final resting place is here at Gooding Cemetery on Sandy Run Road, the same road where Stephen's body was found in 2015. Now, his family is reacting to the guilty verdicts in the Murdoch murder trial, saying that they soon hope that Stephen will get justice as well. SLED still hasn't officially said what the connection between Stephen Smith's case and the Murdoch family is. In the Smith family statement released by their attorney, Sandy Smith, Stephen's mom, says the verdict provides much needed closure to Maggie's and Paul's loved ones, adding, quote, we know firsthand the agony and frustration of being in the dark about how a family member was killed, and I am thankful the whole story was put before the jury in a public trial. One day, I pray the same happens for my Stephen, but today we should honor and remember Remember the victims of this man who so many people trusted. Mike Himlap, the attorney representing the family, says the verdict in this trial is the result of hard work from SLED and the state's attorney general's office and that the family is, quote, confident they will continue to exhibit this level of dedication to their investigation into Stephen's murder, no matter where that investigation may lead. Just this past July at Gooding Cemetery, Stephen's family and friends gathered to reveal a new headstone for him seven years after his death as the investigation into the incident continues. Stephen's family continues to encourage anyone with information about his death to reach out to Crime Stoppers or SLED. We'll have that contact information in this story on our website. In Hampton County, Haley Boland, WTOC News. And when it comes